there, honey buns, and welcome back to the third episode of our Tony Cast and Makeover. So far, we have done two families, and that are the BFF household and the Pancakes family. And today, I thought we could do the makeover of the Spencer Kim and Lewis family. So before we get into it, let's quickly get to know our characters so we know how to give them the best makeover. Okay, here's the breakdown. Dennis Kim and Lydia Spencer had a daughter named Alice Spencer Kim, then divorced. Alice married Eric Lewis and had her own little girl, Olivia Kim Lewis. They live with Alice's dad, Dennis, remember? And Eric's mom, Vivian Lewis. Hey, no one ever said family was easy. Okay, so I'm gonna go from oldest to youngest, so I guess we will be starting with Dennis Kim. He looks very familiar. Have I seen him in one of my series? Oh my god, he was peeping on Mint! I actually saw this character on my Not So Berry Challenge in the second episode, and he was actually peeping on my first generation air. And he's just staying here like a creepy old guy while we are taking a shower. That was disgusting old man, Dennis. I think he should be fired. Even if he's a pervert, we deserve to read his bio so that we know how to give him a makeover. Mm -hmm. Dennis is an elder, and like the remainder of his family, he starts off unemployed. In my safe file, he was a paper scientist. He has a one skill point in both comedy and video gaming, four points in gardening, and has the successful lineage aspiration. The family biography reveals that he divorced Lydia Spencer sometime after having Alice. Lydia does not appear in the game and is only mentioned in the family biography. Only because she knew that he was a peeper. He also loves the outdoors, he's neat, and he's a perfectionist. Okay, Dennis. Since this is a five-person family household, I don't think I can replicate them, so I think I am just going to take some pictures close up and far back so that you know we can do a comparison afterwards. Hmm. The thing is, I don't think I have Elder CC. I mean he has a pretty old- oh there it is, I think these ones are. Maybe? No, these are just here. What if I put this on him and then add these little things? Oh, I can't put the wrinkle. Okay, yeah, I don't think I can give him like a skin overlay, although I really would like to. Okay, I can give him a nose overlay, but just the thing is, if I give him an overlay, he'll seem a little bit younger than he actually is. So I'm wondering if that's the right way to go. Seems way too young with the CC that I have, and I have no elder CC. Oh my god, I came so not prepared to this. Okay, but there is actually this overlay that I can put on him, although I don't really enjoy it. Okay, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of GS, a little bit of nose overlay, and that's gonna be kind of it. And maybe more wrinkles. I so do not like you. I don't know if I have this mustache. I'm just gonna say that for now. I guess we could go with these Catco eyebrows. They're one of my four favorites. Okay, if we go to the mustache thing, I can't actually help you, fella. I don't have that kind of thing. I do have this, actually. Okay, this is kind of fine too. I mean, if I have to switch up everything with CC, I guess this would be fine, right? Okay, but the hair. Do I have hair like that? No, I do not. So I'm gonna try to look for something. Oh, wow. It actually looks pretty cool with this hair. You would have suited long hair if you had it, but you don't. Yeah, I don't think I have CC like that. I don't think I have ever downloaded a hair that is just like here. So I guess we keep his original hair. I just, I can't find anything else and... I don't feel like giving him too much hair. Okay, I want to give him like not very much eyelashes because you know he's old before we all fell off while he was peeping at younger girls. Okay, there you go. I guess that would be fine. So let's find some eyes for you. Okay, so this is M147 Turkey Simmer. Okay, Turkey Simmer I actually do have a lot of CC of and this is actually looking pretty cute. So why don't I give that to the peeper and also I gotta give you some eye highlights. There you go, nice eyes for the peeper. Okay, so he's actually wearing this kind of cardigan thing with a tie. I guess this is actually cooler. And it wow. was blue, his tie was blue, so maybe we could go, you know, from that to this. I think, I mean, it's the first CC I found, and I don't want to spend much time here on you. Let's see for bottoms, you have gray bottoms. So let's find some gray bottoms, okay. There you go. You know. Some great bottoms for you. Okay, the socks I'm gonna keep because they're super wild. I super like them. These socks are really cool. And then for the shoes, I don't know what this is called, but I do have CC of it, so let's find it. Or do I? Maybe I could give you a little bit more fancy shoe, you know? Okay, I guess these actually shoes would be fine. And there you go. I think this is my makeover of Dennis Kim. He does not look much different, yep. especially in the face. So, okay, let me see if I can find again some skin details. Maybe I could. I did find a skin 
skin overlay that actually looks good on him and I got some eye bags for him as well you know so that he seems older so there we have Dennis Kim the peeper and let's move on to the next elder person in the family which would be Vivian Lewis. So Vivian Lewis is actually the mother of Eric. I will make you look the best Vivian. So let's read a little bit about her character before giving her makeover. So Vivian is an elder and she is also unemployed. She has one skill point in both comedy and video gaming, four points in cooking and has the big family aspiration. Well done Vivian. She's pretty much a good looking lady, you know? She seems like she takes care of herself and look at her fancy outfit. I actually pretty much like that and I'm gonna go for posh for you Vivian. Okay, so let's start with a skin details my friend. You already do have some on so let's see if I take them up what would happen. Oh, it's her moles and her freckles. Okay. I'm gonna take off her freckles, I'm gonna keep her mole because I'm gonna give you freckles from mine. Okay, so you two are gonna have eye bags, my friend, because you are old. Oh, these ones were good. Oh, these ones are good. Okay, I actually like those. I do need a skin overlay, but I'm kind of afraid that if I put one... Yeah, it's gonna clear up her whole skin, but I think she is a well-kept lady. Oh, wait, this is aging. Oh, wait, I have an aging skin overlay. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we're going for this skin overlay, which does not have a name, but it has this girl on it. So if you know where it is from, good for you. Okay, I'm still mad about the fact that I can't give her eyelashes from here, but I'm just gonna swallow my pride and continue with life. Okay, you also get a GS thing because I found this from Claire Chabon, and honestly, it's been so cool to have it in my game. It makes Sims so much prettier it just does and i think i'm gonna give her or the lightest or a little bit shinier since she's posh i'm gonna give her the shinier one okay i do want to highlight her nose because it's so freaking cute okay there you go the cosmetic contour that i usually use number 11. oh my god she's actually super pretty okay moving on to eyebrows which i think she draws on because every old lady can do that if she wants to even if you're young you can still do that okay i'm Pretty much digging these ones, but let's check out some other. I don't think she had any makeup on, because I haven't been taking off anything, so she does not have makeup on. Okay, I'm gonna give her a little blush, like, you know, she took uh, the makeup on and was like, yes. And I think these lips actually look pretty cute on her. And now let's give you some eyes. Okay, so these are the Selene Eyes number 87. And I think they actually really suit her a lot, so let's give her those ones. She does have these earrings, right? That's the only thing she has. Yeah. I don't think I have any CC that would even come close to this, and I really am digging them, but this is a CC makeover, so I should give her something new. But before that, let's give you eyelashes, love. Since she's a well-kept lady, I think she would have really nice eyelashes. Okay, I think these eyelashes actually suit her a lot, so let's find some earrings for you. Okay, I went through almost all of my CC and I gotta say that these are the best choice, so I'm gonna give her these ones. And now, eye highlights. There you go. I'm not sure if I have this kind of hair, but... Or should I do a little number on her and give her a little bit longer hair, but still, you know, sweet. Oh my god, you guys, she's really suiting this hair. I know she didn't have like this long hair, but it's my makeover. And I'm really digging this one, but I'm gonna keep on searching if I find something else that is cute. Okay, the other hairs that I have are actually a little bit too much hair, but honestly, I'm really digging this one. It looks so cute on her, and I think she looks really good. So let's leave her with that and move on to clothes. Watch your back there. Hmm. Everything I have is a little bit too casual for her. Okay, so I guess this could pass as something similar, right? I'll just make it in a closer color to than it was before. Because it's still very fancy and I feel like she totally suits this. Okay, she actually turned out pretty hard to dress. I am not gonna lie. But I- ooh! Ooh, 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 these pants are nice. Okay, I'm digging this. Let's give you some nice shoes. I don't know what you're wearing right now, but you're not wearing that. How about you, oh, you wear the same shoes as Dennis? I think she actually looks super cool. Oh, wow. She looks like such a nice person. I would totally be her friend. And she's also family-oriented, a foodie, and cheerful. Okay, I think I have also done with Vivian Lewis. Huh? So next up on the oh, list would be her home. son, Eric Lewis. Okay, you have wrinkles on your face. Are you? Are you now? Oh, you're a young adult and you already have a wrinkles. Okay, let's check out your biography to see why that is. Eric is a young adult and he also is unemployed. He has
has one skill point in both logic and video gaming, three points in programming, and has the mansion baron aspiration. When the household is first played, he has already achieved the first three milestones of his aspiration. His father does not appear and is not mentioned in the game. Okay, so your friend though, you're a glutton. You're self-assured and you're materialistic. You wanna be rich? I can make you look rich. Okay, so it's obvious that you wanna keep your head wrinkles, so I'm not gonna take them off. I'm just going to look for some other CC that I could be using on me. There is the option of this skin, even though it seems very, very real to me. Arnold skin looks good on you too. Okay, but there is also this skin number 19. I don't- I really don't know. Okay, but there are these girls, which again, I don't know which skin they are, but it looks pretty cool. And I think this one is actually the one that suits him the most, even though it kind of flattens him, I guess. How about this Gamma Mask? Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I think this Gamma Mask is actually looking pretty good on you. Let's give you that one, and I can give your fair head wrinkles! There you go. I was about to give you a hairline, and then I remembered. You don't have any. Let's give you a cosmetic contour of your nose because, you know, that's what we do here on this channel. Okay, let's move on to your eyebrows because you need me, friend. You need me. Oh, literally, the first ones that I put on actually look so good on him. I can't believe myself. I'm kind of digging these ones. These are the pre lines, number 134. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay, you have a beard and a thing, a mustache, a thing. So I guess I do have this. Literally a carbon copy of it, even though I don't have the I don't know what they're called for a Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but you still look pretty handsome. Okay, there you go. You have nice pretty eyelashes. Can I make them a little bigger though? Because I think it would suit him more. There you go. There you go. With your big brown eyes, that looks so cute. Okay, let's give you some eye shine. Oh, there you go. You pretty fella. Okay, and now hair? I mean, the boy suits hair. Can you blame me? Look at him. He looks so cute like this. Okay, I know he does not have hair on, but I mean, look at this. And then look at this. He's just so much cooler. And I feel like he should have hair. I know he doesn't, so I'm kind of torn whether I should give him or not give him hair, but... Okay, for now, I'm gonna leave you without hair because you were like that originally. But I'm gonna be thinking about it. Okay, so he does have this little turtleneck thing going on, so... Ooh, this has a turtleneck, and I think I do have it in black. But okay, maybe we could do a little bit number of black and gray. You have the most ugly pants in the world. Okay, literally, these pants look so good. Wow, man, you look good. You look so good. And let's give you some nice shoes, not those though, because they look so bad. Like, what is that? What are these shoes? They look like bowling shoes. And I am not a fan of bowling shoes. Let's give you some Gucci shoes, my friend. There you go, now you're all Gucci. And it's finally time to decide on the hair. I mean... She looks so good with it! But he was without hair originally. Okay, this yeah. is this is hard. Ugh! I'm gonna leave you without hair. It has been very hard to decide that, but we're leaving him without hair. And we're moving on to Alice Spencer Kim before I change my mind. So let's learn a little bit about your child so that we can give you a proper makeover. Okay, so Alice is a young adult and she also is unemployed. She has one skill point in charisma, comedy, cooking, mischief, video gaming, four points in painting, and has the painter extraordinaire aspiration. That is so cool. She actually looks super cute. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so you're telling me we have a painter on our hands. She is also creative, childish, and loves the outdoors. Let's give you some skin details to make you even more beautiful. Okay, there is this MSQ Sims skin overlay, and I think she's literally made for that one. She's the lightest of them all, so I'm gonna give her this one, I think. She looks so cool. I kind of wanted to give her a dimple as well, just because she's artistic. I know artistic people don't usually have dimples, or they're not supposed to have dimples, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna give her some. Okay, but if I want to give her a nose overlay, I think, yeah, it takes away the dimple. Well, that's so sad. I mean, that nose overlay is literally my favorite nose overlay, but I, I could give her this one too, because it's literally with her... It's the same name as her skin tone. So maybe I could give her that one and still give her the dimple. Okay, we're gonna go like that. But she does have like little curly hair. So I'm gonna remember that. I'm just gonna take it off so I have a better view of her face. And wow, she's actually super beautiful. Let's give you some nice eyebrows. Maybe my favorite ones. Yeah, I'm gonna give her my favorite ones. These are my favorite ones. They're called Catco and I have no idea which ones they are, but they're this one. 
Okay, it's time for the eyelashes. Okay, and moving on to makeup, which she does not have on, but you're with me, child, so you most probably will have some makeup. I mean, it's gonna be really light on you, but you're still gonna have a little, 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 little bit of makeup. Okay, this Obscurus number 10 eyeliner thing, wow. It kind of looks even like an extension of her eye, so I really, really like it. Or number 7. <gasps> number 7. Yeah, it's gonna be number seven for sure. I will give you some blush because I am not a monster. Okay, and now let's find some good eyes for you. And I actually like you, so I'm gonna be giving you pretty eyes. So I'm gonna give, be giving her Pro Line number 151 eyes. Let's give you some eye highlights, and then I think we can move on to hair. There you go. This is pretty. She's so cute. Okay, I really, really like Alice. Okay, let's move on to hair, which remember, it was kind of on the side and it was curly. I don't know if it was in a braid, but I don't think it was. I literally have this hair, which I think it was her hair before, but I don't really like how it stays on her, so... I could also use this. It is the exact length that it was on the picture before. Yeah, to be honest with you guys, I'm actually really, really digging this one. So I think it'll be this one in your dress. Interestingly, but you're an artist, so I'm gonna go crazy with you, okay? So I do want to keep the tank top mm. thing because it does show out her tattoo and I really really like her tattoo So I do actually have this which is pretty cute because you know, it's kind of a skirt thing and has the yellow It does show out her tattoo and it's kind of artistic, but I'm gonna keep oh. looking Okay, this is actually kind of pretty because it looks like, you know, she was drawing and all the colors came onto her shirt this is very artsy as well. Okay, maybe I could actually give her this. Oh, I could give her this and it literally shows off the hand in which she was... The tattoos are on! Yes! Okay, let's say that we go with this. What can I put on underneath? She was wearing a skirt. I'm not very sure. There is this option. I mean, this is cool. It's not a skirt, but it's still very artistic and cool. There is this, which is literally a yellow skirt but look at these pants they look so cool they look like they're mitch matching that's so cool i like that i really like that i think she's coming along to look very pretty and as for shoes you have some sandals which is eh. let's find some cool sandals that we can give you like these ones look even your nails are painted i'm gonna give them in black because i don't have them in yellow and that was the color that she was using on before and i think i am done with her oh no i'm not wait the tattoo i should look for a tattoo that is similar to yours okay i don't think i have hand tattoos that are cc really yeah, these are the left ones and I don't have one. I had no idea that I did not have tattoo CC, but apparently she's keeping her original tattoo. Although I have to say, she looks awesome. I really, really like her. She looks so freaking pretty. Let's move on to the last makeover we're going to do today. And that is the daughter of Eric and Alice, which is beautiful Olivia Kim Lewis. Let's read a little bit about her so that we know how to change her. Okay, so Olivia is a child. She's a C grade student and has one skill point in the creativity, mental, motor, and social child skills. So she literally has one skill point and everything. She has the artistic prodigy aspiration. Her mother did not change her maiden name after marrying her father, resulting in Olivia's surname being hyphenated. There are no drawing tables or musical instruments in the house on the first plate, so there is nothing to fuel her aspiration. Oh. Well, if I was playing with this family, I would totally give this cute little girl who's Pants are covered in paint, painting materials, and everything else. She is also a goofball, and as we said, she has the artistic prodigy aspirations. Okay, so for children, I can't put eyelashes on them from here, but when I am on adults, I can't. Okay, so I guess I'm going with this skin overlay. I just need to find the eyelashes again. Yeah, I can't use the eyelashes because I'm using this skin, but it's okay. I'm just gonna give them from accessories. I think she looks so freaking adorable. Okay, let's fix up your eyebrows, love. What did I give your mom? Oh my favorite ones okay you're getting my favorite ones too then okay there you go i think these eyebrows actually pretty much suit her okay let's give you some eyelashes love okay there you go you do not have makeup on but i am gonna give you some lip color and some blush because why the hell not okay there you go you have your lips now and moving on to hair so you have a little bob oh wow look at this hair she actually looks super cute with this hair there's also this 
This is kind of very close to what you had on before. Okay, this is cute too. Or this. Wow. I think this actually looks pretty cute on her because she did like have a bun before. So maybe this is the bun now. We're gonna dress you in something artistic as your mom. Okay, I know I totally went into a totally different direction, but I kept the pink on top. I did not keep the painting down below, but I still think that she looks super cute and adorable. She looks like a, like a little artistic prodigy. I did not give you eyes, did I? I don't think I gave her eyes. I know I did not. Okay, let's give you some eyes that I gave to your mom. Oh, it's those ones. Okay, okay, let's see if I can give them to you too. Okay, there they are, the pre-line number 151. Yes, okay, let's give you some eye shine. And all in all, I think you are done. Okay, why don't we do a little bit of comparison so that we see how we did. So we have have Dennis Kim before and we have Dennis Kim now don't complain and then we have Vivian Lewis whom I did not screenshot and then we have her and her new form which I think I think she looks so much better I freaking love her and then we have Eric Lewis into hot Eric Lewis without hair. I'm still wondering about the hair, but I'm not gonna put it on. It's fine. And then we have beautiful Alice Spencer Kim from this to this. She looks so freaking good. I am freaking in love with her. Like, she is one of the most beautiful NPCs so far. Even though we only did three families, she's still one of the prettiest. Finally, we have beautiful Olivia Kim Lewis, the child of Alice and Eric before. And after, I think she looks so super adorable. You can go on ahead and tell me in the comments down below which one you like best. I think I like Alice best. I literally made it obvious. So if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to show it some love and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these townie makeovers. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!